Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I would like to show you how you can create a Docker container for FreeBSD from scratch. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install a fresh new uh, FreeBSD machine. And as you can see, this is a freshly new installed machine. So I can see already the IP address of the machine, but uh, let's uh, log in. Um, so root and password root. This is just for demo purposes. I run if config and I see the address 192.168.2.108. All right. Now in my host system, I'm going to pull a repository uh, that I've created and you can also download the material for yourself. So here I've created some readme and some um, uh, some folders where um, I will be posting in the future a couple more codes so you don't need to type in everything that I'm doing in the videos. Uh, for the time being let's go for the Ansible and uh, folder and I've created a podman directory here and uh, you have some readme. This is going to basically configure Podman in a FreeBSD machine uh, using Ansible. For this, we need to enable SSH, uh, uh, so root login with password over SSH, and we need the permit login and password authentication, and we need to capture the IP address. We have that already. So let's edit the SSH uh, underscore D config. So here in the machine, vim etc uh, ssh and ssh d config. Ah, yes, I forget, vim is not there. So let's just use vi. And there should be a permit login. There we go. Permit root login, yes. And let's search for the password and password authentication, let's set it to yes. All right, so you should not do this for productive systems because this weakens your, uh, your security, but this is for demo purposes only. So service sshd, restart, and we are ready to go. Now, once we have this, we know the IP address, we edit the file hosts.ini. Let's see that, hosts.ini. In this case, it has an older configuration for me, so it's uh, password 108. I'm logging into the machine with username uh, with root and password root. Okay. So uh, in the playbook, I'm not going to go through this, but you can see this offline. It basically um, installs and configures um, Podman. One thing to be careful, you need to select ZFS when installing the FreeBSD machine because this is going to use ZFS. All right, so let's then just type in make. So the make is just run, going to run Ansible playbook on the hosts with the playbook YAML. So make. Okay, so this is now the first error. So let's go to the machine and let's do a, a PKG install Python 3. It needs Python installed. I forgot that. I need to update the documentation. No problem. Let's install Python. And I should have installed Vim because, as we all know, that's the best editor around. Let's try it again. Make. OK, now it's going. So it's installing Podman. And um, yeah, when it's finished, I will be back. OK, so Podman is now installed. Let's go to the machine and type in Podman PS. Yes, it's there. Now, what we need to do uh, next is um, to also pull the same repository here in this machine. So I'm going to need PKG for this purpose. PKG install Vim, of course. Let's use Vim and Git. We need both install. And inside this machine, let's do the same thing. So git clone a, https 
gitlab.com slash tgazima slash YouTube video. Let's go to this directory. And in this case, I like alias ls ls capital G. So it gets some color. And let's go for Podman. So let's see the directory base container. And this is going to create a base container. So you can also see here the readme file or oh, no, you cannot read anything because I didn't write anything in this documentation yet. But basically, there are some files that we need to have a look here. Let's uh, see the make.sh. That's the important one. And we see that we are looking at the release 14.3. And here we have the name of the container that we're going to create. The important thing to take into consideration is that we need to download and to extract the image. Uh, so here we have the, the things and uh, yeah, uh, it's uh, going to download from the directories. So we run now make sh. Uh, actually, before we run this, let's have a look at the profile. So profile 14.3, uh, that's the one that we're going to use. And this is uh, several profiles we can have. Here we have the configure the base profile. Um, we could also have uh, the VI profile. We could have the truss, uh, the truss, the I18N, locale, SSL, etc. So I'm still working on these things, but um, it should be uh, going, uh, yeah. Uh, I should be improving this project a little bit in the future. Well, now we can type in make and magic shall happen. Happen. Okay, uh, of course I forgot. I need to give the flag dash d for download, dash x for extract. Let's go now. Now finally magic will happen. Okay, so as we can see now the base image is created, the FreeBSD minimum. Let's have a look at podman, podman dash uh, images dash a, and we have here FreeBSD minimum. Let's try to run it. Podman run. Let's remove the image when it exits. Let's get it into iterative FreeBSD minimal, and let's run bin sh inside. There we are. There we go. We are inside the container. PKG install Vim Midnight Commander. Why not? Let's get a dash Y. And there we go. VI or Vim, it's running and Midnight Commander is also running inside the container. Awesome. You can see that I've also posted the containers into Docker Hub. So you can just simply do, instead of Docker, you can do podman and pull tgaziba slash freebsd minimal with a tag name. In this case, let's see, that would be the 14.3. That's it. And uh, let's try it. Uh, there is a, a, a minimal description here. So let's do podman pull tgaziba slash freebsd minimal 14.3 and it's now pulling the container and now podman dot images dash a we have it running there and um, we see that uh, in localhost we have a FreeBSD minimal, which we just created, and from the Docker I.O. I pulled one image. Let's do podman rmi, in this case a38. So I delete one of the images and let's try again the podman run with the FreeBSD minimal. This means the, the one we pulled from Docker I.O. And it's apparently not running, so let's do again a podman rmi, in this case aed, and let's pull it again. Podman pull. And podman run. Let's see if this time it runs. No, it doesn't want to run, so we need to have a 
qui est ici par là. Slash here. OK. And now let's have a look at the images. Podman uh, images dash A. And Podman run. FreeBSD minimal. Um, so I do the dash dash rm dash it free bsd minimum slash bin slash sh and it doesn't work and i always make this mistake i need to put the tag name 14.3 and there we go now the image is running the f dash a and pkg install midnight commander mc-u and there you go it's running as it should okay that's it for today thanks for uh, passing by and watching the video if you have some comments or suggestions please use the space down below and if you like the video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and that's it from my side so thank you take care and see you next time bye bye